two games. That's all I got this week. I'm very sorry. Blame Australia Post. It takes a week for them to send something from WA to Victoria. Or even three days from Victoria to Victoria. Proud Aussie. Mad Mikey Gaming. G'day gamers, Mad Mikey here with another gaming haul slash shit I'll never play this week. Uh, again, if you like what, you, what I'm putting out here the, every week, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe um, and share it with your friends. Uh, also, the community on Facebook is growing by the day uh, over at Facebook slash Mad Mikey Gaming. Uh, well, this week, as you saw from the intro, I only had two games this week. So again, we're going to stick to the same format where I talk a bit about the games, but this week I'm going to chuck in a bit of news. Uh, so this week, uh, been playing a, a lot more of Final Fantasy XIV online, uh, just really getting in the grind. But it was actually really funny because what happened was I've been playing on the story and actually neglected uh, my actual whole arm storyline. So I've actually gone back to the main main hub, New Gardenia, uh, where the um, the pole arm sort of area is, and I've gone there. And I'm like, oh crap. I've got all these levels and all these missions to do, and it's actually giving me new moves to do. So, like, they're easy, but it, it's sort of gaining on the story and things like that. So, I've actually now been able to open up to be able to do a secondary um, job. Uh, so, I'm probably going to go along the line along the lines of armory. Uh, so, I'm going to go over to them and check out what's going on there. Uh, also, obviously, Red Dead Redemption became backwards compatible this week. So I've been putting in a lot of time with that. Um, and I've actually been, like, as, as I've spoken about in previous videos, I do sort of role play a bit, so I'm walking, taking the time. Like, when you get into a main city or something, you, you don't sort of gallop through, like, yeah! What, what I'm doing is you just slow down and out of my And just ride through, and I'm, I'm really enjoying playing it that way. Um, I'm not too far, I've just finished Bonnie's missions, uh, so now I'm gonna sort of get into doing uh, the Sheriff's missions. Um, that, that's been pretty much it this week. I uh, didn't get any comments or votes for a game to review, so I didn't get around to that. Uh, but this week, uh, gaming of another type, uh, playing basketball, I did manage to do a minor tear on my ACL on my knee. So I was actually stuck on, on bed, so I was actually just catching up on a lot of TV shows like Buffy and whatnot. So uh, just took it easy, but back in action today at work. Um, now, in terms of news this week, uh, in case you don't sort of watch or, or join the, the Facebook page, I actually put out a thing called Anchors. Uh, now, that's an iOS app uh, where it lets you record two minutes of recording. So I actually do my news reporting daily through there. Um, it, it is very trying, but it actually helps with the, the speaking that I do on this show. I know that occasionally, or at the start, I would have said um, uh, a lot. I do do that, but it is something that I'm working at, and hopefully uh, one day we'll, we'll, we'll get there without the ums and the ahs. Uh, but this week, uh, in gaming news, uh, there was an Arkham, the Arkham City, Arkham Collection delay. Uh, so what, what's actually happened was uh, Warner Brothers, I don't know what, what they're doing, to be honest. Uh, they just cannot win at the moment. Uh, the remastered collection, which was actually supposed to come out in June or July, has now been sort of pushed back to more along the November timeline. Um, again, frame rates, graphics, crashing, that all seems to be the problem. Uh, I really don't know what happened to that once great company. They used to put out really quality games as, as the reason why so many people were hyped for this Arkham collection to come out even though I was a bit bummed that Origins wasn't actually going to be uh, in, involved in that. Um, also, in case you didn't know, Pokemon Go has been out for a full week now. Uh, they are sort of ironing out a few of the bugs and whatnot. They got rid of that whole Google issue uh, where you were actually accepting uh, for them to be able to view basically everything on your Google account. So calls, texts, emails, all those kind of things. Uh, so that wasn't cool, so it was good to see them get that fixed up straight away. And um, Sea of Thieves actually got a release date this week, uh, which is going to be in February. Uh, so that's one of the one of the awesome games that came out of E3, and one that I'm personally very much looking forward to. Uh, next up, um, also WB. What do you know? Back in back in trouble again. 
uh, they actually got in trouble for influencing YouTubers. Uh, so they paid un unsubstantiated amounts of money. Uh, the campaign was viewed uh, over 5.5 million times. Uh, so the guys like PewDiePie, uh, a lot of big big name guys for the game, which was Shadow of Mordor, which was actually a really awesome game. Uh, they were told to review it very well. Um, told to pay money to do that. That's not cool. Really not cool. And um, so they've, they've actually got in trouble and they're now not allowed to do that sort of thing. But for me, honestly, I'm no journalist. I, I, I don't really review games. I just really like talking about games. But the fact that people do that is not cool. Um, so yeah, that's just my thought on that. Um, they, they were sort of told to not disclose the bugs and whatnot and things like that. So Batman, like on PC, that, that was terrible what happened there. And it's not good for gamers. Uh, it's not good for companies either. The fact that they're, okay, well, it's done, we'll put it out there and we'll fix it as we go. That That's not gaming. I remember back in the days you had a game and it worked. Um, and also this week, uh, Overwatch got a new character. Uh, I don't know much about it because I actually haven't uh, played that much of Overwatch, although I do have it and I do enjoy it. But um, uh, who is it? It's Anna Amari, uh, another sniper class. So... If you're into the sniper and you are still playing it, I know that it does have a huge community out there. I really need to get back into it. Uh, but there's also Battleborn as well. So, again, what can you do? Um, also, the big news that came out for me today was the fact that they are releasing a mini NES. Mini NES. Now, downside, and I do acknowledge it, that there's no expandable memory. You basically get 30 games. They are 30 awesome games though, mind you. Games that I've wanted to play, but don't want to sort of fork out the, the $150, $200 for an original NES, plus the games. The games are the most expensive part. Um, and it doesn't look like there's any internet or anything like that. But the games that you are going to get is Balloon Fight, Bubble Bubble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2. Now, that's a game that I had on uh, Commodore 64 and I never finished. Used to, it, it was three cassettes. I got to the third cassette and died autom almost, almost automatically. So, uh, that might be a game I really want to get around to playing. Uh, so, we've got Dr. Mario, Excite Bite, Final Fantasy, the original one. That would be pretty cool to play. Uh, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, another Commodore 64 game I never got around to finishing. It was an excruciatingly hard game. Uh, Grace, Gradius, never heard of that. Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Super C, whatever the hell that is. Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 2, Mario Brothers 3, Tem Temco Bowl, Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2. So that's... Really cool. Um, I pre-ordered it today with a second controller. Uh, my wife sort of loves those simplistic games, so that's sort of uh, something that I hope that we can sort of play together. Now, on to the shit that I'm not going to play. Now, I'm also going to have a bit of a rant uh, today. So the first one that I got was on the original PlayStation, Smackdown 2. Uh, did it have a subtitle? Know Your Role, Jabroni. Um, I remember playing this uh, me and my mates, we were huge WWE fans back in the day. Uh, me and Dan, uh, we lined up for, I think it was the first SmackDown game. Uh, we, we woke up, we couldn't sleep. We got all, we gathered all our games, all our Mega Drive 2 and other PlayStation games that we couldn't, weren't playing. And then we went and we waited from like five o'clock at Knox City. And um, I can't remember the name of it. it. It wasn't like an EB Games or anything like that. It's like a game trader. No, it wasn't even game traders. It was something I honestly can't remember what it was called. And we traded in all the games and we were like $5 short. And none of us had money because we were just dollar bludgers back then. So we had to go all the way back to my house in search of more games. And we actually were able to sort of scrounge up a couple of extra Sega games. Um, and we were able to get it and we went back and we played it and we were just amazed at what it was like. And, and then the second one came uh, because the first one ended up being such a disappointment because when we look back on it, it was a really shitty game. 
Um, this one's probably a shitty game too. Uh, but uh, again, it's it's going to have wrestlers on there that never have been in there. But for a PlayStation One game, this had Hell in a Cell. That over fifty superstars. Tell me how many of the newer WWE games have over fifty? It's terrible. They don't do it, or or they will make over fifty by adding DLC. Uh, but this was one game, you got 50, uh, there was ladder matches, there was casket matches. Uh, but the ramp part, I buy these things and these guys don't disclose the fact that friggin' the hinges are broken. Um, so, I know they're all games, I really do, and I can appreciate that, but tell me. Um, the annoying bit is, is that it's got a PlayStation sticker. Uh, just so we're saying officially licensed PlayStation, and... I mean, you could switch it over, you really could, but without that sticker, I don't know, it's annoying. And also, just on the on the cover, on the corner bit there. Um, but yeah, that, that's my little rant. And lastly, we got Tekken 5. Now, I actually did buy this last week from Cash Converters, um, but they needed to hold it for 24 hours. Somebody put it out early, so I had to end up going up and picking it up uh, the day after. Uh, actually, don't mind the Tekken series. I've never... I enjoy the actual fighting, but I don't enjoy the fact that there's not much story to it. So I played like Tekken Tag. I, for the life of me, I wouldn't know how to bloody tag, but um, I do enjoy the characters in here. Um, it does look like it's got Control Jin as an action side down story, Tekken De Devil Within. Um, I don't actually also quite get the how you actually play through. So you get like first, second Dan and stuff like that. But, um, again, it's a good fighting game. I do enjoy the mechanics. It's not... I suppose it's sort of a middle ground between your sort of DOA and Street Fighter for me personally, uh, not being the biggest of fight, fighting gamers. Uh, but, it, it's like, but that's sort of where it fits in for me. So where I can accidentally pull off some combos and whatnot, it, it, it does have a lot of juggling. But, yeah, as I said, look, that's it for this game. Week in Gaming. Uh, if there's anything that you guys would like to discuss, come over to Facebook uh, at Mad Mikey Gaming. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, Mad Mikey, uh, the, the same way you spell it. But um, look, guys, I do have quite a few games coming next week, so next week should be a bit more uh, intense-wise with, with the games that we get to talk about or the shit I'm never going to play. But look, uh, thanks for viewing, and I hope you have yourselves a great gaming week. Peace out.